Animal wealth in India has increased manifold in the last two decades owing to the introduction of new technologies, improved animal husbandry practices, upgradation of indigenous breeds and better health management of livestock. With a rapid increase in livestock population and movement of livestock and its products across the globe, the chances of ingress of exotic diseases into the country have also increased. Factors like urbanization, deforestation, environmental pollution, climate change, etc. have led to the emergence of new diseases as well as newer forms of the existing ones in animals. A constant preparedness is required so that timely control measures can be initiated to save the animal wealth of the country. Situated in Bhopal, the city of lakes, and spread over 132 acres of land, the National Institute of High Security Animal Diseases NIHSAD, of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research is a premier institute for research on exotic and emerging diseases of animals. The NIH SED came into existence on the 8th of August 2014 as an independent institute from its original status of High Security Animal Disease Laboratory, which was a regional station of the Indian Veterinary Research Institute. The institute is known for its Biosafety Level 3 Plus laboratory, where pathogens of exotic and emerging natures can be safely handled for research and diagnosis purposes. This biocontainment facility was constructed by the National Dairy Development Board in 1998. The institute contributes hugely to the animal health system of the country as a national referral facility for exotic and emerging diseases of animals, an OIE reference facility for avian influenza, and a national training hub for biosafety and biosecurity. The research programs and activities of the Institute are multifarious and include disease diagnosis, development of diagnostics and vaccines, studies on host-pathogen interactions, risk analysis, genomics approach to pathogen research, molecular epidemiology, and environmental studies for pathogen survival. The three-floor design of NIH SED is based on the model of a BSL-4 lab at Lelystad, Holland. The first floor accommodates the facility for air handling. The ground floor is the graded negative pressure biocontainment laboratory and animal wing. The basement contains the decontamination facilities, including the effluent treatment plant. There are primary containment barriers, including ducted biosafety cabinets and personal protective equipment, among others, to provide a physical barrier between workers, the environment and the hazardous material. Apart from this, there are secondary barriers that delineate the laboratory from non-laboratory areas or from the outside and prevent the possibility of escape of pathogens to the exterior through man, material, air or water. Entry into the containment lab is restricted. Only after verification by a biometric access control system can one enter the containment complex through designated shower areas. A person has to remove all clothes and accessories in the outer change room, enter the inner change room through the showers and put on the designated laboratory dress. To exit from the laboratory, one must go through the electronically controlled mandatory three showers of five minute cycles. Inside, the laboratory rooms are designated for disease diagnosis, virological, immunological, pathological, molecular and cell culture work. There is a dedicated facility for handling infectious material provided with a separate autoclave in the infection room complex. In this area, maximum personal protection measures are adhered to and the highest level of discipline is mandated in maintaining laboratory and personal safety. As per the biosafety norms, first aid facilities are available inside the containment area. The biosafety staff closely monitors the movement of men and material. Heavy equipment and other materials are brought into or taken out through the airlock after formaldehyde fumigation. A dunk tank exists in the non-contaminated corridor for taking out material by alkali decontamination. All the material that are sensitive to heat and chemical treatment are sent outside the lab through a double door barrier ethylene trioxide gas sterilizer that opens outside the containment area. For discard of solid wastes, there are two double-door barrier autoclaves with ends opening inside 
and outside the containment area. The autoclaved hazardous waste material is sent further for incineration as per pollution control rules. The NIH SED is a systematically organized animal housing and experimentation facility. The receiving shed is an enclosed housing facility to keep the newly procured animals in quarantine. The animals from the receiving shed are shifted to the holding shed after completion of quarantine period and are kept here until the commencement of experimental trials. The biocontainment animal wing portion is a biosafety level 3 plus facility with graded negative pressure. It comprises four large animal rooms, three small animal rooms and three rooms designated for lab animals. A separate isolator room is designated for testing birds and lab animals for highly infectious agents and recombinant organisms. The biocontainment animal facility is connected to the laboratory through an electronically controlled pass-through cabinet, which is used for transport of material from the animal wing to the laboratory and vice versa. The central portion of the animal wing is the necropsy area. The inlet to a rendering cooker is provided here. A cold room facility at minus 10 degrees centigrade is available for storage of carcasses until they are rendered. The transmission electron microscope facility is located in a dedicated building outside the containment area for ultrastructural studies and for quick confirmation of various exotic and emerging viral infections of animals. The NIH SAD also has a unique, specific pathogen-free facility in a separate building with a capacity to rear 100 birds. It has two super isolators maintained at positive pressure. The birds are reared on autoclaved feed, filtered water and HEPA filtered air. The flock is regularly tested for 25 different avian diseases. The birds are then taken in transport isolators for experimentation to the animal facility. The air handling system of the entire biocontainment area is administered with the help of 23 air handling units. The air is supplied through pre-filters and is exhausted via HEPA filters. Sewage from the lab and the animal wing is collected and sterilized in the effluent treatment plant before evacuation to the outside. The working of air handling units and the effluent treatment plant is supervised and monitored from the control room. National Institute of High Security Animal Diseases has a world class facility and is being used for the diagnosis of exotic and emerging diseases of animals. On an average, about 40 to 50,000 diagnostic samples are tested annually from disease outbreaks against a number of animal diseases including avian influenza, bovine viral diarrhea, porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome, malignant catarrhal fever, rabbit hemorrhagic disease, Kirman Congo hemorrhagic fever, Nairobi sheep disease, Rift Valley fever, caprine arthritis encephalitis and Smallenburg. Apart from this, we are also prepared to detect exotic animal pathogens which might be threat to our country. In the past, this institute has been instrumental in the identification, confirmation and reporting of diseases such as bovine viral diarrhea and cattle, buffalo and yaks, avian influenza in chickens, ducks and other avian species, PRS in pigs and border disease and malignant catarrhal fever in sheep. As an OI reference laboratory for avian influenza, the diagnostic strength is also extended to the neighboring nations such as Bhutan and Nepal. Research for developing newer diagnostic techniques and pen side tests are underway for various exotic and emerging pathogens. For investigation of outbreaks, 
pan viral, pan family diagnostic tools, and next generation gene sequencing with viral metagenomics approach are being used. Development of new vaccines and validation of commercial vaccines for the emerging diseases is also carried out, which adds to the national preparedness and formulation of vaccination policies. Our team has developed number of conventional and sophisticated nucleic acid and antibody based diagnostic assays such as PCR array, letter flow assays, AGID, recombinant antigen based ELISAs, LAMP assays and RT-PCR for timely detection of exotic and emerging pathogens of livestock and poultry. We employ both conventional and new generation techniques to identify the vaccine candidates and develop safe and effective vaccines for emerging viral infections including avian influenza, PRRS and BVD. Reverse genetics based DIVA marker vaccine against avian influenza caused by H5N1 have been developed. NIH SED houses a virus repository and studies on virus categorization, viral persistence in environments and drug resistance analysis are carried out continuously as and when the viruses are isolated from the field. Molecular epidemiological studies are carried out routinely to understand the phylogeny and evolution of viruses. The expanding host range of emerging viruses is a constant health concern for animals as well as human beings. Host pathogen interaction studies are done using sophisticated technologies such as high throughput expression profiling, gene silencing, etc., in conjugation with challenge experiments in different animal species. Nishad also contributes immensely to the nation through its human resource development and capacity building programs. Students from various veterinary universities do research for their master's and doctoral degree. The institute regularly conducts training programs in collaboration with national and international organizations in disease diagnosis and biorisk management for scientists from India, SARC and Asian member countries. NIH SAD is committed to work tirelessly for identification and mitigation of threats due to emerging animal pathogens through its sophisticated infrastructure and dedicated workforce. Indeed, the NIH SAD is a unique amalgamation of biological expertise and specialized engineering applications.